UI UX is one of the best jobs to have in the tech industry. You can have work-life balance. It is pretty high demand, so there are a lot of openings. Right now it's very competitive though. Two years ago it was way easier to get and break into the UI UX industry, but right now it's and it, it interesting times, interesting times. You have tech salaries which are pretty pretty high depending on where you are, but most likely they are pretty high. You have to collaborate with a lot of people. So you collaborate with developers, you collaborate with the marketing team, you collaborate with product managers, you collaborate with everyone, which is both good and bad, but mostly good because you're learning from everyone. So you have a lot of chance to grow. And it is a relatively new job. So everything is upgrading and getting new and the, the learning growth and the learning path is continuously growing. New features are added, new tools are added, new ways of thinking about UI UX are added. So you are continuously learning. Now, if you're at least a little bit interested into this career path or have been in before, you probably heard of the Google UI UX certificate, which I think was released like a few years ago. And literally everyone in the UI UX world, at least knows a little bit about it if they haven't tried it. I completed this certificate two months ago. It took me around one year, but I feel like you can do it in like three months max if you actually try, or like even two months, depending on how much you want to be engaged with it and how much free time you have, because I didn't have a lot of free time this year. So in this video, I'm gonna review the certificate and what I learned and what I didn't learn and if I feel like it was good or bad but also show you some other resources that you might want to use or like other certificates you might want to get in your journey to becoming a UI UX designer. This certificate is held on Coursera and I think it has like seven courses. Yeah, seven. It's a seven course series. So you have to take all of these courses, seven courses, in order to get the final specialization certificate. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of the courses and what you do and how much it usually takes, or like how much it took me and why. So the first course is pretty much just like the foundations. You don't really learn, learn anything. You learn like the basics of everything and go, don't really go in depth and you learn some like I don't know, keywords, but not necessarily what they do. It's pretty much very, very, very chill and broad. Now, in the second and third course, you're building your app. And I did that, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did in this. And I feel like you're building this app until course five. So here you're defining your goals, you're defining your users, you're doing user research. And then I feel like here you're actually designing it, the prototype in Figma. If I look at my portfolio, um, here's the project that I did. So I did a pretty much educational like app in this course. And pretty much in the course, I defined the problem. I did market research and here everything you see, like everything I did is from the templates that they offer and which I feel like they're pretty good. Like. You probably don't know how to do, I don't know, market research or like, I don't know, user persona or a journey map. And they offer like literally every single template you might need for anything you would do. So I feel like it's very good in the sense that it shows you how things might look like at a job. Now, you don't really know if you're doing a good job or not. You don't really, you, you're getting feedback, but the people in the course aren't really... I don't know, engaged enough, they just give you like random feedback. So you don't really know if you're on the good, in the, on the right track, but at the same time, this kind of gives you the introduction. So if you know nothing about UI UX, I feel like this course is very good. If you know a little bit about UI UX, this may be good too, because you might be like building upon what you already know. But if you know already, like not a lot, but like if you familiarize yourself with what UI UX is and what the process is like. I don't feel like this course would help you in any way, but the templates are very nice. What you actually need to do for the course are exactly like the steps you would go through in a UI UX job. So you have to do like storyboards, which I, you don't really need to do that in a UI UX job, but like having it in your portfolio, I feel like adds something extra because not many people have that. So 
Yeah. And this is the final final product. Next two courses are mostly web design and like web and uh, app design. So like you're building one for web and second for both web and app, which I feel like this one is pretty interesting, but I feel like after the like three or four courses, they just started repeating themselves and it became very, very easy. So I kind of lost the interest and I feel like this is like a common experience. I don't know, because I am I was I used to be a designer before, so I wasn't like a UI UX designer, but I did graphic design and visual art and stuff like that. And so I feel like these two courses or three courses like build what I need to know for interviews. So like if I'm going in an interview, I know what to tell them my processes or like I know what the process is. And I feel like I'm lear I learned a lot through this and I use this in my computer science and marketing, I don't know, projects too, not only in UI UX. But I feel like they just keep repeating themselves, which I feel like it's smart because it builds your knowledge and like it's you just revise it and revise it and revise it but at the same time it's very very broad and basic um so this is one thing you should know about this course it's very very broad and basic so you don't go in depth into anything but i would recommend you taking this course you also get a certificate that looks kind of like this um and it shows like it takes six months it doesn't really take six months but like whatever um and you can add it to your all of your social media platforms or like LinkedIn probably and your CV. So I do recommend this course if you're just starting out in UI UX, but if you already know some things, you might want to go to the more advanced stuff or just do like UI UX challenges. There are a bunch. You just Google search UI UX challenges. There are like UI UX weekly challenges. You can do like design challenges and stuff like that. And you actually get real feedback more than you just get from this, which it isn't a lot. Like you, you don't really get feedback. It's just for you to build the knowledge of the process it takes to do any UI UX design. Now, if you wanna learn a little bit more and get more in depth into the topics or like have questions or wanna just learn from people that are already in the industry, you can look at some YouTube channels that I found, they're amazing. Like. You can learn from people that are in the industry and they're just reviewing different things or like, I don't know, you, you see the thought process and learning from their thought process is, I think, one of the best ways to learn because like you see how they are doing it and you know they're like already advanced and like maybe, I don't know, senior level. So they've been through that a lot. So this the, the thought process that they build in like years, you get it for free which I don't know what else you can ask for. So the YouTube channels that I like a lot are Flex Academy. Okay, this is also basic, but they do have a lot of like full free courses in like, I don't know, Figma and Webflow and different other, like, I don't know, web design and stuff like that. I watched a bunch of them, not all of them, but I watched a bunch of them and I like them. They're very professional and very helpful. Now, Aliena Kai, I hope I didn't mispronounce her name. Uh, she has a lot of like videos on her journey as a UI UX designer after she did the UX Google course. So I really, really enjoyed watching her progress and where she is now. I think she's uh, a designer at eBay right now. I'm not sure though. So check her out. Then we have Tim Gabe. He does a lot of like very niche, very very small little tutorials that help you a lot. So like he has very small questions that people may have and like how to do stuff in Figma, how to do certain stuff, I don't know. And like when you get stuck, I feel like this guy can solve any of your problems. Like there's also Jesse Showalter. I hope I pronounced his name right. Okay, I'm not sure. Um, he also makes like more like theory based like videos so like what you should do with spacing what you should do with components how everything works so i feel like if you feel like you don't know what you're doing and you have a blank space and like you're okay i put buttons on it but like it doesn't look good you can watch this guys because this guy's videos literally teach you what in this the industry standard is and like i don't know the 10 30 60 color theory or like the 
the multiples of eight spacing theory, which if you don't know about these, you should check his videos out. Or maybe I will make some videos about this, we'll see. And if you want more in-depth or like a more structured class, or which also gives you a certificate, there's a Figma UI UX design, um, I think intermediate and advanced. It's from this guy called Daniel Scott and he's on Skillshare. This video is not sponsored. I wish if Skillshare watches this, I wish you would sponsor me, please. Um, but this is not sponsored. And I took his class on like the advanced Figma, like Figma Pro advanced, whatever. He goes to very, very niche topics, but it helps you a lot in building very like stable and quality designs. So like designs that don't break, designs that you can use when developing, designs that I don't know, are responsive and stuff like that. So he teaches a lot about like Figma tricks and stuff like that. So if you're a designer and you want to learn Figma, I feel like this certificate would be very helpful. Like this taught me more than the Google UI UX certificate, which makes sense because that one is like intro, introduction, basic, basic introduction. This is all I had to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about UI UX, I may be doing some more videos. This is the first video I'm ever doing on UI UX. Oh, no, actually, I did a video on learning Figma in four hours, actually following this, like, Daniel Scott's uh, Figma UI UX Advanced course. So if you want to look through what that course is about, or, like, what you do in that course, you can check that one out. I'm either going to link it or you can search it on my profile. Otherwise, if you have questions about UI UX, I'm a CS major. I am trying to get into the UI UX world, but I'm just like a college student right now. I have experience though, so I do have some experience in the world of UI UX. I'm just trying to break into it. So I'm not like a professional, I'm more on your level. So I'm learning as you are learning, which I feel like, I don't know. I want to build a community of people who want to get into UI UX and want to learn together. So. If you want that, comment down below what other topics you would want me to make videos about. And I am very open to making videos about anything. If you have questions, please DM or like comment down below. I answer everything. I wish you the best of luck in your process to getting a UI UX job or just figuring out if UI UX is for you. And have the best day ever. Kisses!